This is Coogan Cassius Rifle TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're at the Emirates Stadium here, half time, Arsenal versus Newcastle. With me, I've got new WBO middleweight champion Billy Joe Saunders. Okay, okay. Nice to see you haven't put too much weight on over Christmas, Bill. Yeah, no, you've got to stay trim now, aren't I? World champion, different alterations. And uh, promoter Frank Warren. How are you, Happy Frank? New, all good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you both. Um, well, 2016 now, uh, it's the second today. Big plans for this man, Frank. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few offers. We're not talked about anything. We're not going to till the. We all get together after Christmas. Well, sorry, after the holidays, actually, day of Christmas holidays. Um, been a couple of offers made, and uh, one from Golovkin, but, you know, there's a lot to discuss. It's nice to get the offers, but you know, I'm sure we've got. Even if we did go down that road, it'd have to be for more money than the, 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 they offered. But, the, but we're not going to do anything to. Uh, um, Jimmy Tibbs comes back. Danny and the co, and then we go through it all and work out what the next move's going to be. But the, in an ideal world, I'd like to see Bill fight again in March, and then uh, at least have three fights this year and uh, be a meaningful fight. I've seen um, part of a story today that suggested that um, Golovkin's team is saying that you weren't serious about well, the I, fight. I, I'm not the only the only uh, dialogue. I've not had any dialogue with. Um, his manager at all. All we've done is sent, sent a basic holder back to um, uh, Tom Loeffler, who's looks after him, just saying to him well, what I've just said. Wait till after Christmas, first, second week of January, we're going to make up our minds what way, what direction um, we're going to go in. Bill's going to obviously, he's got the final say and then we'll we move from there. It's something that will be considered, but I don't know why, why the manager would say that. It's crazy. Bill, I'm just going to remind you of a couple of things you've said about Gennady Golovkin in the past. One, that uh, you'd need an AK-47 with several rounds to beat him. And also, you said that Golovkin would beat you and Chris Eubank Jr. in the same night. Yeah. Listen, there's no, there's no getting away from it, Coogan. He is the best at the weight. But like I say, we're in a, we are in a business. Um, and obviously, if the right offer got made to the team. But, you know, like I say, Danny's away. Frank's will be on holidays. Um, Got to sit down and talk to Jimmy, but I would have no problem at all getting ready to fight Golovkin and taking a fight with him on my terms. Um, I know obviously that he's he's uh, he's the man in the moment, but you know I would be up against it. But look, I would not take that fight. I would not take this fight and think oh, I can't beat him. I'm beat before I get the ring. I train to beat him, and on my night, on my night, I reckon I can cause any middleweight in the world problems. Anyone. There's been wide speculation over the Eubank rematch as well. Um, spoke to you about this the other day, Frank. There was a uh, Chris Eubank senior had written in the Sun that to say that negotiations had started. You denied that. Uh, has there been any more or any contact since um, then? I've, I've got a missed call on my phone from uh, his lawyer, and I'll ring him back. I'll give him a call back um, later and see what that's about. But absolutely no no dialogue whatsoever um, regarding that. Absolutely zero. I think that. Eubank, the way he's going on, he's mandatory challenger for the WBA title. Now, he's moaning that Eddie Owen didn't win a bid, a bid for a purse bid for um, Blackwell, is it, yeah? Yeah, Black correct. Well. So I don't know why he wants to go back and fight someone like Box. I said this before, three years ago. Listen, go and fight and win. Go and f let him go and fight. If he thinks he can beat Golovkin, he sh Danny Jacobs should be a walk in the park for him. Let him go and fight Danny Jacobs. Once he fights Danny Jacobs and if he can beat him, come back, then we've got a unification fight then he'd probably be on the same money that I get if we fight. Do you know what I mean? Because it, he's here, you know, he's here to call me a liar. We had the, my contract was signed to fight him before for the rematch. Absolutely. I put my WBO spot back on the line again, and he was getting money. He'd probably never get to fight anybody else. Let him fight for three world titles, he probably wouldn't get the money that he was getting to fight me. And uh, he wouldn't vacate his belt, which he, he vacated it before, like, straight after anyway. So he, he, just, he totally likes his name mixed with mine, but he knows that it's poor to see him coming because I'll just play games and I'll box his head off. I mean, last time I boxed him, it was a good fight. I'm happy. I'm happy that it was, it was a close fight because it makes a rematch big. But he's got to earn his shot now. I can't do. I can't keep doing all the hard work, slaving myself, doing everything, and saying, right, let's give you back another crap because of the money. Because I can go and defend against him and still earn big money. So it don't really make no difference to me. You know, Bill's British, Commonwealth, European, world title, done it the hard way. That's what he's done. He's won all. Gone out there. And done it in, a, in I think in about three of those fights. He, according to some judges, he was the underdog, but went out and proved them wrong. You know, getting back to the Golovkin fight. The Golovkin fight is a very, very tough fight. You know, we all we all know we're not we're not going to sit here and 
say make stupid statements about him. He's a quality, quality fighter. However, you know, if the terms are right, if the, if the fight, if the fight was at the right time, yeah, I'm sure we'd look at that. Absolutely, we'd look at. It. Now, and, and people underestimate Bill's punching power. And Bill's a boxer, a good boxer as well. We've seen that. He can box, he can move. So, you know, styles make fights, as they say. And, uh, you know, he's... Uh, and let me say this. And there's been so many upsets in boxing over the last year. We've seen it time and time again. Good things getting beat on paper. It happens. It happens, and, uh, and I, uh, but I think Bill will get better and better in my opinion. I think he's going to get, become a better and better fighter, and hopefully at the end of the day we'll uh, be in a position where you know he'll, he'll unify the titles. He put on, he also put on Twitter on his on his Twitter website that you know me in April, Who's then it? just Glofkin and yeah. someone else in like in Canelo after. But there's no fighter in the world can overlook me because anybody overlook at me and I will beat him on the night. No one can never overlook me ever. I'm not a stepping stone or. I'm not an easy walk in the park for no middle. I'm one of the best middleweights in the world. Now I've proved it. Hypothetically, if you were being offered the same money to fight Golovkin as you was Eubank, which one would you have? If it was, well, if the money no wasn't the issue. Think, but, but it's not about that. It's not. I mean, of course, it's about money. It's not about that. It's about making, a, a, picking the right fights. And at the moment, he's got, he's got the, you know, Bill's got the opportunity to be able to go and do what, you know, he's got the opportunity to pick and choose. We're not going to be driven by anybody. I won't let that happen. No matter anybody else, I'm not letting that happen. You know, Chris Eubanks had a... We signed a deal. We, I had the signed contract from him. And I, I keep boring everybody about it. What happened last year? You know, there's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of making up to do before we even go down that road. And it won't be certainly on, with them dictating any terms if we go down that road. If that fight's made, that fight will only, only be made if, Bill, if it's right for Bill. And I'm telling you, for me, the fight itself, just parking up the financial aspects of it and so forth, Bill, there's only one winner in that fight. He'll do it easier next time. Much easier. So, in an ideal world, just to finish off, uh, Bill will have a defence of his world title uh, around, what, April, May? Uh, April, March, that time? Mar late March. Well, March, uh, March, sorry, late March. March, April, uh, probably March. But we're going to, as I say, we're going to get that sorted out very, very quickly and then we'll move from there. But, you know, he's got the whole world in front of him. I think, he's got I think it's now that, with me being my champion, I'm not going to start picking people who I think, oh, well, I'll have easy night of him. I want testers now. I want to see where I'm at. You know, I know the only the only way I'm going to improve is getting in these tough fights now and putting myself on a pedestal to see if I'm up there with Glofkin. And definitely, listen, let me tell you one thing, like I said, if all the teams sat down and we made it, I'll be training everything and believing that I could win. So which, whichever way it goes... No, it's a win-win situation. And I'll tell you something with Bill, he's never, ever, ever turned down anybody that I've put in front of him or off him. Ever. You know, all it's all it's all about our fight how much. And that's what negotiations about the fight actually. Never ever turned anybody down. But at this point you don't know how you'll respond to Golovkin's team. Well no, because for their we, offer. As, as we just said, Kurt, we're gonna sit down with, with all of us and just go through it and, and look at the ins and outs, the financial aspects of it, is it the right time of year for it? Because if the fight was over here, you'd be looking to get that in a, in a, a, a good size venue, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want to be doing it indoors, you want to be doing it outdoors. So if that fight has got is made, and we're not saying we're not going to make it, but if it's made, it's got to be made to maximise the revenue. It's a big fight. You know, we don't, don't want to be make turn it into a small fight. It's a big, big fight. You know, you've got the, I think, pound for pound, the best fighter in the world out there, in Golovkin yeah, at the moment, yeah. there's no doubt about that. And Bill, who's, who, as I say, who's done everything and, is, and, and done it the hard way. All right, if people are wondering why you keep looking to the well, left. We're trying to get the goal. What, 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 really, well, yeah, we missed a couple of times. Right, I wish we should have done the interview in the first half because they were crap. Absolutely, it looks like it's picking up. All right, listen, Frank, Billy, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV and uh, let's hope we get a win today anyway. Fingers crossed. Thanks. This is not a bogus Arsenal supporter. This is a real one. Yes, the only I photos am. I've seen of him in a, in a football shirt is an Arsenal shirt.